Hello, yes, friends. I am back again with uh, this Blitz and Bullet session. So, I am going to play a game or two on leeches.org. So, I am going to post a sick if I can. So, five minute, one second increment. So, so game is started. I got black. These are anonymous games, so I am not aware of my opponent's strength. So, decline Scandinavian. This is very common in Blitz and Bullet to decline Scandinavian. Probably because of uh, very complex positions, or maybe just to avoid something your opponent is comfortable with so he's trying to sack his bishop here so let's wait I'm going to push this pawn after placing my bishop here now that is not a good idea but still and this bishop is good here I'm gaining some space on the queen side now he has castled so I can push this pawn I may get this open file probably I'm not going to castle at all because I can play my queen here on d7 start attacking this pawn so uh, first need to my move my knight out of support of this pawn uh, move my rook here castle on queen side though it is really dangerous for me also I may sacrifice my bishop here also if he makes some mistake uh, I can sacrifice my light square bishop here on this diagonal here so he prepared for that I need to move my knight somewhere so that I can play this h4 and this move I need to move this knight out I am waiting for him to make any mistakes because if I push this g4 then he can push this pawn to h4 he moved back his bishop uh, now i can sacrifice but still he can get back there then i have to move my queen back here so i'm just waiting i'll double rook rooks on g or h file with this rook g7 move then I can push this uh, pawn because this knight is supporting this pawn push uh, once I get this rooks double on the g file so he's preparing some counter attack but I always can push this one if he starts with uh, this a4 move that I think he's not going to do now I can now he is not attacking this h4 square now my attack is faster than his on the queen side and here he has to capture because there are so many pieces converging on this g4 square this i have consumed about a minute and he 
yes a very little time left i think on his clock two minutes i have four minutes so i can survive any tactics easily because of this extra time i have if you have double time than your opponent then you can safely go a piece down not almost always but in this position i think my queen side is pretty safe so i can do that sacrifice the piece here it's not moving so this is really low on time i do not know what is going to do he move his knight back for some additional support here uh, but that is not going to prevent my attack because i have this uh, bishop move he cannot push because i can capture here twice so I can capture once and then can bring my queen here also, but then he can move his queen to f1. if he captures bishop here then I have discovered check I can win the queen and my knight is going here anyways if he doesn't capture here my queen will be added to attack once pieces are exchanged on this g4 square It's very low on time, 30 seconds. I don't think he is going to survive either. Even if he has time, let's add some time to his clock. I have added about one and a half minute. back because king is no more in the pin and queen is supporting this pawn here on h4 now i can move this f5 f4 if he captures here with his bishop then I can move in with my queen attacking this pawn and then this uh, move will be forced g3 ok so he's going to capture here with his queen I can push here f4 let's add some time to his clock now this was forced now I can capture here that is very sure most likely with bishop I have to see where the queen is going because I can push this f4 first before capturing here because this pawn is not going to go anywhere after this push i'm controlling this g3 g3 square with three pieces against these two his uh, queen on this diagonal and his knight 
so I can have this move uh, he is going low on time I am adding few more seconds to his clock yeah I can safely move this it will deny any counter play and this bishop is closed now now I can capture here or here and this is I think checkmate if I capture with this rook here that's all so that's I think one game let's play another game let's go back to the play arena and create another game same time control okay so I'll try to play my favorite Mora sweet Mora gambit but uh, with a different move order okay I have to push this first this may uh, transpose into Sicilian Alpine if he move his knight to this uh, d5 square I can end pass here now I can castle this is still protected by this knight mm, if I capture on the f7 with this check do not know it is very unclear and I cannot move knight here without a check because of this mate here so let's move this thing first he is trying to capture here and then to checkmate here that is uh, probability so I think I will close it down it's simple though I have some light square weaknesses here but if he captures oh, then there isn't a problem well I can capture with my pawn what if he moves his queen here I'd rather take it with my queen it is slightly safer I can go in here and I can move my knight if he goes here then I can play this move this is really getting dangerous if he captures here then I have this check now I can move this one now I can move my knight here also ok and this is not going to be a checkmate you cannot sacrifice everything just to checkmate ok he resigned so let's play one more game he lost that game probably because of a primo so seek is posted here okay uh, let's play yes can they name in gambit again I like this gambit This move is slightly unusual, but it was uh, recommended by Houdini, I think, 
and I was analyzing few years back older version of Houdini I don't know what is the current status of the chess engines I more use uh, stockfish now if we captures here I am going to castle and then capture here on b7 with my bishop for quick development it is uh, something like Danish gambit it works well against most of the players I think because white is very much underdeveloped apart from this knight so he rather preferred developing I have to capture with this knight there is no point in waiting you can jump with my knight here also if he doesn't bring his knight out on f3 but I think he's going to make this knight move on f3 most likely move I can move out my bishop here I can put my queen on this c2 or c7 square and bring my knight here okay still my bishops are very well placed compared to his I am controlling this square g4 very well so queen is now active on this diagonal and this I may bring my rook to d and then and threatening bishop takes c4 okay, I can do it now okay I can capture this this is very well supported e5 pawn this knight and queen and this is I think very crazy I can exchange a lot of material here now I am a pawn up so I am threatening this push opening a piece cannot move this knight it is bent to this rook ok I can capture here if he captures here I am first going to capture the knight because this rook is overly protected and this is almost over I think I have two extra minor pieces that is enough to win so he resigned that is all so I am ending this uh, blitz session today bye for now